Drew Barrymore was born into a family of actors with her grandfather, John Barrymore, and great uncles Lionel and Ethel being famous actors in their time. Her father, John Drew Barrymore, and mother, Jay Barrymore, were also actors. Drew started acting at a very young age, appearing in a commercial when she was just 11 months old. She made her film debut in Altered States in 1980, when she was only four years old. Drew's upbringing was unconventional, to say the least. Her parents divorced when she was nine, and she had a lot of freedom, which led to her experimenting with drugs and alcohol at a young age. She entered rehab for the first time when she was 13 years old. Despite her troubled youth, Drew had several key influences and mentors who inspired her path in Hollywood. One of her earliest mentors was legendary director Steven Spielberg, who cast her in E.T., the extraterrestrial when she was seven years old. Spielberg became a father figure to Drew and helped her navigate the industry. Another significant influence on Drew's career was David Cronenberg, who directed her in The Fly. Cronenberg pushed Drew to explore her acting range and helped her develop her craft. Drew's career has been marked by her versatility and willingness to take on diverse roles. She has produced and starred in several films, including Never Been Kissed, Charlie's Angels, and Fifty First Dates. She has also produced and starred in her own talk show, The Drew Barrymore Show. Throughout her career, Drew has been open about her struggles and has used her platform to raise awareness about mental health and addiction. She has become a role model for many and has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Drew Barrymore is a well-known producer and actress. You might recognize her from movies like Charlie's Angels and E.T. Do you have a favorite memory or experience related to Drew Barrymore? We'd love to hear about it in the comments below. Throughout her career, Drew Barrymore has given us many memorable performances. Which one do you think stands out the most? Throughout this video, we'll be sharing some fun, surprising, and even emotional facts about Drew Barrymore. So, keep watching to learn more. Drew Barrymore's passion for producing can be traced back to her childhood. As a third-generation actress in the famous Barrymore family, she was exposed to the entertainment industry at a very young age. However, it was her experience as a child actor that sparked her interest in production. At the age of seven, she starred in the blockbuster hit E.T., the extraterrestrial, which brought her immense fame and recognition. Despite her early success, Barrymore struggled with the pressures of Hollywood and entered rehab at the age of 13. It was during this difficult time that she discovered her love for producing. She wanted to create a safe and nurturing environment for young actors where they could learn and grow as artists without the negative influences that she had experienced. Barrymore's passion for producing was further fueled by her desire to tell compelling stories that resonate with audiences. She established her own production company, Flower Films, in 1995 and has since produced a wide range of successful films and television shows, including Charlie's Angels, Fifty First Dates, and Santa Clarita Diet. Throughout her career, Barrymore has remained committed to creating high-quality content that inspires and entertains audiences. Her dedication to her craft and her passion for storytelling have made her a respected and successful producer in the entertainment industry. Drew Barrymore is a well-known producer and actress. She started her career as a child actor and has since then worked on various projects. Barrymore has produced and starred in several films, some of which are must-watch movies. One such movie is Charlie's Angels, a crime comedy film released in 2000. Barrymore, along with Cameron Diaz and Lucy Liu, played the lead roles of private investigators. The movie was a commercial success and received positive reviews. Another must-watch movie is Fifty First Dates, a romantic comedy released in 24. Barrymore starred alongside Adam Sandler, playing a woman with short-term memory loss. The movie was a critical and commercial success, and their chemistry was widely praised. Barrymore also produced and starred in Never Been Kissed, a romantic comedy released in 1999. She played a copy editor who goes undercover as a high school student. The movie was a moderate success and received positive reviews. For those new to Barrymore's work, The Wedding Singer is a great place to start. Released in 1998, the movie is a romantic comedy where Barrymore plays a waitress who falls in love with a wedding singer. 
The movie was a commercial success and received positive reviews. In conclusion, Drew Barrymore has had a successful career as a producer and actress. Her must-watch movies include Charlie's Angels, Fifty First Dates, Never Been Kissed, and The Wedding Singer. These movies showcase her talent and versatility as an actor and producer. Drew Barrymore, a renowned producer, faced numerous challenges in her early career. Despite coming from a family of actors, she experienced significant financial struggles. Her parents' divorce and their struggles with substance abuse led to an unstable childhood, and she ended up living on her own by the time she was 14. Barrymore's career in the entertainment industry was marked by skepticism and doubt. After achieving early success with E.T., the extraterrestrial, she faced a series of setbacks, including negative media attention and struggles with addiction. However, she demonstrated remarkable resilience and a determination to overcome these obstacles. One of the ways Barrymore overcame industry skepticism was by taking control of her career and becoming a producer. This allowed her to create opportunities for herself and others and to tell stories that she was passionate about. She founded her own production company, Flower Films, in 1995, which has produced numerous successful films and television shows. Barrymore's financial struggles also motivated her to become a savvy businesswoman. She has leveraged her success in the entertainment industry to build a diverse portfolio of business ventures, including a wine label, a beauty line, and a fashion line. These ventures have not only provided her with financial stability, but have also allowed her to express her creativity and connect with her fans in new ways. In summary, Drew Barrymore faced significant challenges in her early career, including financial struggles and industry skepticism. However, she demonstrated resilience and creativity in overcoming these obstacles. By taking control of her career and building a diverse portfolio of business ventures, she has become a successful producer an entrepreneur, and a role model for others facing similar challenges. Drew Barrymore is known for wearing her own butterfly jean jacket as Julia Sullivan in The Wedding Singer, a detail that director Frank Corisai liked and incorporated into the costume. Barrymore's connections through family include being a former daughter-in-law of Ari Kulpelman and former sister-in-law of Jill Cartman. Interestingly, both her grandfather John Barrymore and great-grandfather Morris Costello have played the role of Sherlock Holmes, with Morris being the first recorded actor to do so. This noteworthy family trait showcases the long-standing acting talent in the Barrymore lineage. Drew Barrymore's career has seen several breakthrough moments, each leaving a significant impact. One of her earliest groundbreaking projects was the 1982 film E.T., The Extraterrestrial, which brought her to international fame as a child actor. The film's director, Steven Spielberg, described her as a natural and intuitive actress which helped establish her career in Hollywood. In 1992, Barrymore produced and starred in the film Gun Crazy, which marked her first major step towards producing. This project demonstrated her versatility and ambition in the industry as she took on more responsibilities beyond acting. A pivotal moment in Barrymore's career came in 1995 when she starred in and produced Mad Love. The film received mixed reviews, but Barrymore's performance was widely praised, with critics acknowledging her growth as an actress. Entertainment Weekly's Owen Glaberman noted, Barrymore's performance is a triumph of cheeky, loose-limbed charisma. Barrymore's production company, Flower Films, was established in 1995, leading to another turning point in her career. The company produced several successful films, such as Never Been Kissed, Charlie's Angels, and Fifty First Dates. These projects showcase Barrymore's creativity and business acumen, further solidifying her status in Hollywood. In 2010, Barrymore directed her first feature film, Whip It, which received critical acclaim for its authenticity and strong female characters. Actress Ellen Page, who starred in the film, praised Barrymore for her incredible passion and amazing vision. Throughout her career, Drew Barrymore has consistently challenged herself and reinvented her image making her a powerful force in the entertainment industry. Her breakthrough moments have not only showcased her talent as an actress and producer, but also her determination and resilience. Drew Barrymore, ranked hash five in VH1's list of the 100 greatest kid stars, gained recognition for her role as Charlie Magee in Firestarter. 
Following this film, she starred in another Stephen King adaptation, Cat's Eye. Barrymore hails from a family of actors. She is the great-granddaughter of Morris Barrymore and Georgiana Barrymore, great-great-granddaughter of Louisa Drew and great-grandniece of Sidney Drew. Her granduncles include his Rankin Drew, Ethel Colt, John Drew Colt, and Samuel Colt. Tenet Barrymore's family tree is deeply rooted in the acting world, with many notable actors across several generations. Drew Barrymore, as a producer, has a unique approach to her work. She is known for her attention to detail and her ability to bring out the best in those she works with. Barrymore's personal experiences and worldview often shine through in her productions, giving them a relatable and authentic feel. One of the things that sets Barrymore apart is her willingness to take on a variety of roles in the production process. She is not only involved in the creative aspects of her projects, but also in the business side of things. This gives her a well-rounded perspective and allows her to make informed decisions that benefit the overall success of her productions. Barrymore's productions often reflect her own values and beliefs. For example, she has a history of producing films and shows that empower women and promote body positivity. She has also been open about her own struggles and experiences and has used her platform to raise awareness about important social issues. Despite her success, Barrymore remains humble and down to earth. She is known for being approachable and easy to work with, and has a reputation for being kind and supportive to those around her. This warmth and accessibility is reflected in her productions, which often have a lighthearted and upbeat tone. Overall, Drew Barrymore's unique approach to producing is characterized by her attention to detail, her willingness to take on a variety of roles, and her ability to infuse her productions with her own values and experiences. These qualities have helped her to make a lasting impact in the world of entertainment. Drew Barrymore, an accomplished actress, became a mother in 2012 and 2014, welcoming daughters Olive Copeman and Frankie Copeman with her former spouse, Will Copeman. One notable moment in Barrymore's career was her appearance on the cover of George magazine in 1996, honoring President Bill Clinton's 50th birthday. She posed as Marilyn Monroe, replicating Monroe's famous performance of Happy Birthday, Mr. President for President John F. Kennedy. Barrymore has also built a strong professional relationship with actor Adam Sandler. They first worked together in the 1998 film The Wedding Singer and later reunited in 50 First Dates and Blended. Their on-screen chemistry has been a highlight of these films, contributing to their success. Drew Barrymore is a significant figure in the film industry having started her career as a child actor and transitioning into a successful producer. She has contributed to the industry through her production company, Flower Films, which she co-founded in 1995. Flower Films has produced numerous successful films and television shows, including Charlie's Angels, Donnie Darko, and Never Been Kissed. Barrymore's production style is known for its focus on female-led stories and strong female characters. She has been praised for her commitment to promoting diversity and representation in the industry. In an interview with Variety, Barrymore stated, I want to tell stories that are relatable, that have heart, and that showcase women in a positive light. Industry experts and those inspired by Barrymore have praised her contributions to the industry. Director MCG, who worked with Barrymore on Charlie's Angels, stated, Drew has a unique vision and a deep understanding of what audiences want to see. She's not afraid to take risks and push boundaries, which is why her work resonates with so many people. Actress Kristen Bell, who starred in the Flower Films production When in Rome, spoke about Barrymore's impact on her career. Drew has been such an inspiration to me. She's not only an incredibly talented actress and producer, but she's also a strong and empowering woman. Working with her was a dream come true, and I'm grateful for her support and guidance. In addition to her work as a producer, Barrymore has also continued to act in films and television shows. Her performances have been praised for their vulnerability and authenticity, and she has been recognized with numerous award nominations and wins. Overall, Drew Barrymore's contributions to the film industry as a producer have been significant and far-reaching. Her commitment to promoting female-led stories and diversity has helped to shape the industry and inspire a new generation of filmmakers and actors. Drew Barrymore, 
Known for her acting career, joined an elite group when she hosted Saturday Night Live for the fifth time. She became the 10th female member of the Five Timers Club, which includes notable figures like Alec Baldwin, Steve Martin, and Tina Fey. Barrymore's first appearance on SNL was at the young age of seven, making her the youngest host in the show's history at the time. Interestingly, Barrymore shares a unique connection with Candace Bergen, another Five Timers Club member. Both were delivered by Dr. Paul Fless, who is also the father of Heidi Fless. The Five Timers Club is a prestigious group consisting of individuals who have left a significant mark on SNL through their repeated appearances. Each member has contributed to the show's enduring popularity and success, with Barrymore being no exception. Her continued involvement with SNL is a testament to her talent and the impact she has made in the world of entertainment. Drew Barrymore, known for her work as a producer, has a rich personal life that influences her work. She values family and friendship, often incorporating these themes into her productions. Her company, Flower Films, has produced movies that reflect her interest in complex female characters and relationships. Barrymore is also passionate about animal rights and is involved in various philanthropic efforts. She has worked with the World Wildlife Fund and the Humane Society, using her platform to raise awareness and funds for animal welfare. In addition, Barrymore is an advocate for women's health and has been open about her own experiences with mental health and addiction. She has used her productions to shed light on these issues and to promote conversations around mental health. Barrymore's personal values and interests are deeply woven into her work as a producer, reflecting her commitment to creating meaningful and impactful content. Her philanthropic efforts further highlight her dedication to making a positive difference in the world. Drew Barrymore is known for her acting roles in various films, including The Wedding Singer, where she played Julia Sullivan. Interestingly, both she and Christina Pickles, who played Julia's mom, had the last name Jeller in different productions. Drew played Josie Jeller in Never Been Kissed, while Christina played Judy Jeller in the TV show Friends. In addition to this, Drew was also considered for the role of Sandra D in the movie Beyond the Sea, although Kate Bosworth ultimately got the part. Barrymore's talent and charm have not gone unnoticed, as she was ranked hash 40 on Maxim Magazine's Hot 100 Women of 28 list. Her appeal and acting abilities have made her a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. Drew Barrymore has established a strong legacy in the entertainment industry as an accomplished actress, producer, and director. She has been a part of the industry since she was a child and has captivated audiences with her talent and charm. Throughout her career, Barrymore has shown her versatility by taking on various roles and challenging herself in different genres. As a producer, she has given us memorable films like Charlie's Angels and Donnie Darko, which have left an indelible mark on the industry. Barrymore's advice to aspiring professionals is to stay true to themselves and not be afraid to take risks. She emphasizes the importance of hard work, dedication, and resilience in the face of challenges. She encourages young professionals to be open to learning and growing and to always be curious about their craft. In terms of her future contributions, Barrymore plans to continue producing and acting in projects that inspire her. She is also interested in exploring new opportunities in the industry, such as directing and writing. Overall, Drew Barrymore's legacy in the entertainment industry is a testament to her talent, hard work, and dedication. Her advice to aspiring professionals is a reminder that success in any field requires passion, perseverance, and a willingness to learn and grow. Drew Barrymore, at the age of 23, discovered a young woman's desire to undergo cosmetic surgery to resemble her, leading to Drew's intervention and successful dissuasion of the procedure. Between June 22 and December 2006, Drew was in a relationship with the Strokes drummer, Fabrizio Morty. In the 1984 film Firestarter, Drew Barrymore portrayed Charlie Magee, a character who required the use of a soundstage for specific scenes due to child labor laws. These scenes, including the climactic barn fire, were shot at night, and a little person lookalike was utilized as a double for Drew. Drew Barrymore's journey in the entertainment industry is a testament to her passion and innovation. Starting as a child actor, she quickly became a household name, but her path was not always easy. 
she faced many challenges and setbacks, but her creativity and perseverance helped her to reinvent herself and become a successful producer. Throughout her career, Barrymore has demonstrated a unique ability to identify and create engaging content that resonates with audiences. From romantic comedies to talk shows, she has left her mark on various aspects of the entertainment industry. Her production company, Lauer Films, has produced numerous box office hits, showcasing her innovative spirit and business acumen. Barrymore's impact on the entertainment industry is enduring. She has inspired countless young actors and producers to pursue their dreams and has shown that it is possible to overcome obstacles and find success. Her work has brought joy and entertainment to millions of people around the world. In the end, Drew Barrymore's journey is a powerful reminder of the power of creativity and perseverance. Her story serves as an inspiration to all of us to pursue our passions and never give up, even when faced with adversity. The entertainment industry is better because of her contributions and her legacy will continue to inspire future generations. Drew Barrymore, known for her acting roles, showed her loyalty when she threatened to quit the production of Bad Girls if her friend and director Tamara Davis was fired. As a young actress, Barrymore kept the red cowboy hat she wore as Gertie and E.T., the extraterrestrial, which is now kept in her daughter's room. In the film Scream, Barrymore's blonde wig in the opening scene was inspired by Michelle Pfeiffer's hairstyle in Scarface. These anecdotes provide a glimpse into Barrymore's career and personal life. Drew Barrymore's first marriage was an impulsive decision, marrying Welsh-born barkeep Jeremy Thomas after knowing each other for only six weeks. The early morning ceremony took place at his bar, The Room, on Cahonga Boulevard, around 500 a.m. on March 20, 1994. Even though she was sober, Drew Barrymore singing in the movie Everyone Says I Love You was dubbed due to her conviction that her singing was not up to the mark. Interestingly, Steven Spielberg is not only Drew Barrymore's godfather, but also Gwyneth Paltrow's. Despite her godfather's accomplishments in the film industry, Drew Barrymore's career has been marked by her own unique contributions, including her role in Everyone Says I Love You, where she acted alongside well-known singers. Drew Barrymore, known for her role as Casey in Scream, had an unusual experience while filming. Neither she nor co-star Neve Campbell met the actor who voiced the killer, Roger Jackson, beforehand. Their shocked reactions when talking to him on the phone were genuine, as none of the cast had met him. This was a deliberate choice by director Wes Craven to enhance the film's impact. Barrymore has notable connections, being the goddaughter of Sophia Loren and Hannah Strasberg. Her lineage in the entertainment industry is strong, with her family having been in show business for generations. At the age of seven, Barrymore made history as the youngest person to host Saturday Night Live. She was the host for the 1982 episode where viewers voted for Andy Kaufman to never return to the show. This early exposure to the spotlight showcased her natural talent and charisma. Drew Barrymore is known for her diverse roles in various films, including The Wedding Singer and Scream. In the former, she played Julia Sullivan, and a nod to one of her past horror films, A Nightmare on Elm Street, can be seen in a subtle detail. Her connection to the horror genre runs deep, as she also starred in Scream, which was initially turned down by its director, Wes Craven. However, after being encouraged by a young fan, Craven agreed to direct, and the film became a success. Barrymore currently divides her time between Hollywood Hills, California, and Manhattan, New York City. Despite her busy schedule, she remains a prominent figure in the entertainment industry. Her contributions to film continue to be appreciated by audiences of all ages. Drew Barrymore is an accomplished actress, known for her roles in various films. In the movie Ever After a Cinderella Story, Barrymore, as Danielle, was supposed to carry Doug Ray Scott, but he was too heavy. The crew had to use a harness and wires to make it appear that Barrymore was carrying him. Barrymore also starred in Firestarter as Charlie Magee. Director Mark L. Lester shared that Stephen King, the author of the novel, approved the script and was on set. King even suggested the wind blowing through Barrymore's hair, an idea Lester didn't understand why King criticized later. In addition to her acting, Barrymore received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame on February 3, 24 joining her famous relatives Ethel, John, and Lionel Barrymore as recipients of that honor. 
Her contributions to the film industry continue to be recognized and appreciated. In February 2001, Drew Barrymore and her fiancé Tom Green experienced a house fire in their 3 million Beverly Hills mansion while they were sleeping. Fortunately, they both made it out safely, but the house was severely damaged. When it came to casting the role of Glenn in The Wedding Singer, Drew Barrymore played Julia Sullivan. Frank Corisai, the director, wanted Christopher McDonald for the role due to his performance as Shooter McGavin in Happy Gilmore. However, Adam Sandler, who starred in Happy Gilmore, vetoed the decision as McDonald is 20 years older than Barrymore, and he preferred a younger actor for the part. McDonald has attempted to work with Sandler again since Happy Gilmore, but Sandler has declined, stating that McDonald will always be remembered as Shooter. Matthew Broderick was considered but rejected because Sandler thought he was too nice to play a villain. Ben Stiller and David Spade were also considered, but Stiller was busy with There's Something About Mary, and Spade wasn't ready to take on a big role due to problems on the set of Black Sheep. In 2010, Drew Barrymore was named Stonette of the Year by High Times Magazine for her performance in Going the Distance. Drew Barrymore, born at 151 AM PST, has had an impactful career in the film industry. In the horror film screen, producer Bob Weinstein initially criticized the mask used in the film. He requested the producers to film a scene with seven different masks for him to choose from. However, the producers disagreed and threatened to halt production. They convinced Weinstein to wait until the first sequence, featuring Barrymore, was completed before making a decision. After watching it, he approved the mask without further complaints. In the musical film Everyone Says I Love You, Barrymore was the only cast member whose singing was dubbed. Olivia Heyman provided her voice. Despite this, Barrymore's performance was well received, showcasing her versatility as an actress. Barrymore's contributions to the film industry have been significant, and her work continues to resonate with audiences. Her ability to take on various roles and deliver compelling performances has solidified her place as a respected figure in the industry. Drew Barrymore, in a 1996 appearance on The Rosie O'Donnell Show, revealed that she doesn't watch her own movies. This revelation offers a glimpse into her humble and down-to-earth personality despite her successful career in Hollywood. Barrymore's accomplishments include being chosen by People magazine as one of the 50 most beautiful people in the world in 1997, which speaks to her widespread appeal and enduring beauty. Furthermore, she has made her mark on Saturday Night Live becoming the most frequent reoccurring female host to date, with six hosting appearances as of October 10, 29. Her comedic timing and charisma have no doubt contributed to her success on the show. Drew Barrymore, in the film Ever After a Cinderella Story, played the character Danielle who receives Thomas More's book Utopia as a child and meets a Leonardo da Vinci-inspired character a decade later despite both figures being long deceased by the time frame of the story. Barrymore was also considered for the role of Joyce Lakeland in The Killer Inside Me in 2010, although the part ultimately went to Jessica Alba. At the young age of 14, Barrymore completed her autobiographical book, Little Girl Lost, while navigating her personal and public life. Drew Barrymore's fascination with storytelling began at a young age when she read Stephen King's Firestarter at the age of five. This early interest in narrative would later translate into her acting career, which has included a wide range of roles and projects. In 1996, Barrymore was offered the lead role in the horror film Scream, but she opted to play the character of Casey Becker instead. According to Barrymore, she found the idea of playing a character who is killed off early in the film to be more interesting and fun. In her personal life, Barrymore has been in a relationship with actor Justin Long on two separate occasions. Their first relationship lasted from August 2007 to July 2008, and they later reconciled in June 29 following a trip to Disneyland. The couple moved in together in August 2009, but ultimately broke up again in November of that year. Throughout her career, Barrymore has demonstrated a willingness to take on diverse and interesting roles and has never shied away from a challenge. Her early love of storytelling and her dedication to her craft have made her a well-respected and beloved figure in the world of entertainment. Drew Barrymore made her film debut in Altered States as Margaret Jessup, showcasing her acting skills at a young age. 
Later, at the age of 15, she legally emancipated herself from her parents, gaining independence. This decision was influenced by her experience working on the movie Irreconcilable Differences, where she played a character who divorces her negligent parents. In April 2016, news broke that Drew had separated from her third husband, Will Copeland, after three years of marriage. She filed for divorce in July of the same year. Despite her personal challenges, Drew has continued to work in the entertainment industry and remains a prominent figure in Hollywood. Drew Barrymore and Cameron Diaz formed a close friendship while working together on Charlie's Angels. Both are fans of the heavy metal band rap. In contrast, Drew Barrymore's experience working on Bad Girls was less than ideal. She played Lily Larinette in the film, but the numerous backstage reshuffles and rewrites left her with a negative impression, describing it as the pits. In Wayne's World 2, Drew Barrymore portrayed Birgen Kirjan, although she didn't share any scenes with Heather Locklear. Interestingly, they had previously played mother and daughter in Firestarter nine years earlier. Drew Barrymore, known for her roles in E.T., the extraterrestrial, and Firestarter, has some unusual allergies. She is allergic to garlic, bee stings, perfume, and coffee. In E.T., Barrymore played the lovable Gertie, one of two child actors in the film who later posed for Playboy. In Firestarter, she took on the role of Charlie McGee, a character pursued by a secret U.S. government agency known as The Shop. Interestingly, actors from Firestarter also appeared in the 1991 film Golden Years, which was based on another Stephen King concept. Despite her allergies and past roles, Barrymore continues to be a prominent figure in Hollywood. Drew Barrymore, even as a teenager, was surrounded by fellow celebrities. At the age of 13, she shared a home in Los Angeles with actress Ali Keats, Barrymore's youthful charm was recognized in 25 when she was ranked as the third cutest child star all grown up by E.E. in her personal life. Barrymore was engaged to Jamie Walters from May 1992 to November 1993. This early relationship marked one of many that the actress would have in the public eye. Despite the scrutiny, Barrymore continued to build her career and establish herself as a significant figure in the entertainment industry. Drew Barrymore has expressed her admiration for poet E.E. E. Cummings, known for his unconventional style and form. Shifting focus to her acting career, Barrymore holds a special affinity for her role as Danielle in Ever After a Cinderella Story, often citing it as her favorite film. Delving into her family background, Barrymore's father had mixed English, Irish, and German heritage, while her mother's lineage is Hungarian. This diverse ancestry has likely contributed to her multifaceted identity and career. Drew Barrymore, even as a child, showed her potential in the acting industry. She auditioned for the role of Carol Ann Freeling in the 1982 film Poltergeist, but the part went to Heather O'Rourke. However, this did not stop Barrymore from making her mark in the industry. In 1984, she starred as Charlie McGee in Firestarter, the first of two Stephen King film adaptations featuring Barrymore. The other was Cat's Eye in 1985. Barrymore's portrayal of Charlie Magee showcased her ability to handle complex roles at a young age. Barrymore's potential and talent have not gone unnoticed. She has been referenced in Tim Sandlin's book, Jimi Hendrix Turns 80 as a possible future governor of California. This reference highlights the impact and influence Barrymore has had in the entertainment industry and beyond. Drew Barrymore, known for her role as Gertie in E.T., the extraterrestrial, did not finish high school. Despite this, she has pursued various interests, including photography. Interestingly, Barrymore, along with Dee Wallace and Henry Thomas, appeared in movies based on Stephen King books. These actors, including Barrymore, have left their mark in the film industry, particularly in the horror and science fiction genres. Drew Barrymore, a well-known figure in the film industry, has been referenced in the movie Monkeyshine and is the founder of her own production company, Flower Films. Flower Films was instrumental in the discovery of the script for Fifty First Dates, which had already been optioned by Adam Sandler's company. Barrymore, who had enjoyed working with Sandler on The Wedding Singer, was eager to collaborate with him again on this project. One of the films that Barrymore has appeared in, E.T., the extraterrestrial has been recognized by the Library of Congress as being culturally, historically, or aesthetically significant and has been selected for the National Film Registry. 
This recognition highlights the enduring impact of Barrymore's work in the film industry. Drew Barrymore played the role of Danielle in the movie Ever After a Cinderella Story, with the farmhouse scenes filmed at the Chateau de Fénelon in the Dordogne region of France. Barrymore has also co-starred with Adam Sandler in three films, The Wedding Singer, Fifty First Dates, and Blended. In February 2000, Barrymore began a relationship with Tom Green, becoming engaged in July of the same year. They married on July 7, 2001, but separated in December after only five months together. Their divorce was finalized in October 2002. Drew Barrymore, even as a young girl, shared her first kiss with Breck and Mayer when they were both in grade school. At the age of 10, Drew's innocent affection for Brecken, who was 11 at the time, marked the beginning of her journey in the entertainment industry. Fast forward to adulthood, Drew Barrymore proved her dedication to her craft as she returned to work only five months after giving birth to her daughter Frankie to begin filming Miss You Already in 2015. Her unwavering commitment to her roles is a testament to her professionalism and passion for acting. One of Drew's notable performances was in Ever After a Cinderella Story, where she portrayed Danielle. Interestingly, there is a connection between Drew's family and the film's director, Angelica Huston. Angelica's father, John Huston, directed Drew's great uncle, Lionel Barrymore, in Key Largo in 1948. This family connection adds an intriguing layer to Drew's acting career. In conclusion, Drew Barrymore's dedication to her craft even from a young age, is evident in her impressive body of work. Her commitment to her roles and her family's legacy in the entertainment industry make her a notable figure in Hollywood. Drew Barrymore is known for her diverse roles in film, including her portrayal of Danielle in Ever After a Cinderella Story and Casey in Screen. Interestingly, there's a connection between their families Drew Barrymore's great aunt Ethel Barrymore and Angelica Huston's grandfather Walter Houston appeared together in The Great Sinner. In an episode of The Drew Barrymore Show, Barrymore playfully suggested that her screen character, Casey Becker, might have survived her brutal on-screen death. She compared it to a C-section, joking that she's here, I'm fine, hinting at a possible return for her character. Despite passing on the leading role in Showgirls due to discomfort with the explicit nudity, Barrymore has left an indelible mark in the film industry with her straightforward and engaging performances. Her career choices reflect her ability to remain true to herself, making her a relatable and admired figure among her fans. Let's take a moment to talk about Drew Barrymore, a truly talented producer whose work has left a lasting impression on the entertainment industry. She has been a part of many beloved films and shows, demonstrating her versatility and commitment to each project she takes on. We'd love to hear your thoughts on Drew Barrymore's contributions to the world of entertainment. What's your favorite role of hers? Which of her productions has had the greatest impact on you? Share your memories and opinions in the comments below. Your engagement helps us create a vibrant community of film and television enthusiasts. If you enjoy our content, don't forget to like and share our posts with your friends. And, of course, subscribing to our channel ensures you never miss an opportunity to celebrate the creative spirits that shape the entertainment we all know and love. Let's cherish the artistry and dedication of producers like Drew Barrymore, who have left their mark on the industry and continue to inspire us with their work.